Hey everybody, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and healthy with those that you love. Uh, during these trying times, it is ever more clear how interconnected and tied together we all are, both here in states across the country as well as around the world. This threat of the coronavirus is very serious and the severe implications uh, exist for every one of us, no matter our age or where we come from or our level of fitness, pre-existing health conditions. This is something that we all must take seriously and that we all must work together to defeat. Uh, I wanna take just a moment now and ask you to focus first and foremost on your health and well-being and urge you to take the kinds of precautions that the CDC and health experts and professionals are recommending for yourself, your friends, your family, your loved ones. Uh, this will help. This will help to, to mitigate the spread of this coronavirus and to prevent uh, further infection in your own homes uh, or in your communities. Uh, earlier today, Congress passed a measure by unanimous consent that will provide some urgent relief to those who need it most, while we continue to address the growing challenges that this pandemic is posing to our health uh, and our safety. Now, there's a lot of details to go over in this bill. Uh, I am seriously concerned with the uh, seemingly gratuitous handouts to uh, corporations. However, there were some very uh, important provisions in this bill that will provide direct relief to Americans. Things like a direct payment to every single uh, low and middle income uh, person in this country. Uh, there is expanded benefits for unemployment insurance that are not limited to those who have been conventional employees who may have been laid off or furloughed, but also includes freelance workers, uh, people who are working on the gig economy, Uber drivers, uh, and uh, independent contractors. Uh, benefits to small business owners were a very, very important part of this package, essential to make it so that our small business owners, the backbone of our economy, are not all forced to uh, face bankruptcy, essentially. Uh, these are trying times. The provisions within this legislation that was passed today, which is the third aid package that Congress has passed, uh, will help those who are most in need weather this storm. Uh, I just, I, I am deeply inspired uh, every day and so grateful for the many, many examples of service above self that are happening across our country. People displaying courage and compassion and strength as Americans step up uh, to take care of each other, to stand with each other despite the fear and uncertainty that surrounds us. Just to name a few, our heroic healthcare workers who are so many of them leaving their families behind every day, uh, so many of them self-quarantining from their own spouses and children, and going to work, putting their lives on the line to provide testing and care and treatment to total strangers, people who are very, very sick, people who they swore an oath to care for. I wanna recognize my fellow servicemen and women in the National Guard across the country who are serving in, in their home communities, who are serving in states, helping to provide uh, that direct support in so many ways. Uh, we have essential service workers who are feeding people in our country, who are delivering and producing essential goods. Uh, many small business owners who are reinventing their businesses to, to manufacture things like face shields and masks and other essential medical equipment that our, that our healthcare professionals need. We have neighbors and friends who are organizing locally, who are volunteering to deliver groceries and pick up prescriptions for their neighbors, some of the most vulnerable members of our community who can't go out and get these things themselves. We have people giving blood, people who are making donations to organizations who are directly, directly helping those who have been hardest hit by this crisis. Uh, we have to recognize all the parents whose kids are home from school right now who are keeping them safe. There's no shortage of people who are demonstrating this spirit of aloha, 
who are demonstrating the strength and ingenuity of our country and our people, and we need to keep it up. We need to keep it up. We need to stand together because the coming weeks and months will test all of us. But I know I have great faith and confidence that as we have seen throughout our nation's history before, as we will see again in the future, when we the people work side by side with compassion, with love and strength, aloha, we can accomplish anything. We can and will defeat this virus and come out stronger, more compassionate, empathetic, and connected as a nation and as a world than we've ever been before. Stay strong, stay healthy, live aloha.